And out of the Trump presidency, President Donald Trump has issued a new executive order ramping up economic pressure on North Korea to abandon its nuclear program. The decision came as the president held talks with two U.S. key allies amid tensions on the Korean peninsula. CBS 4's Mola Lange is live right now at the White House with more. Mola. Well, Elliot Rudabay, as you know, it's often said there are no good options in uh, dealing with the North Koreans. But uh, these new sanctions, with these new sanctions, uh, it seems the White House and President Trump uh, have uh, scored a major coup, uh, especially by consider especially considering that they've convinced China to play a much larger role in dealing with the Kim regime. On the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly, President Trump issued a new executive order allowing the U.S. to impose sanctions on companies and individuals that finance trade with North Korea. North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile development is a grave threat to peace and security in our world, and it is unacceptable that others financially support this criminal rogue regime. The order aims to cut off sources of revenue that fund North Korea's nuclear ambitions. No bank in any country should be used to facilitate Kim Jong-un's destructive behavior. In another major blow, Mr. Trump revealed China, Pyongyang's largest trading partner, is now joining the effort. Their central bank has told their other banks to immediately stop doing business with North Korea. The announcement came during President Trump's meetings with the leaders of South Korea and Japan, both of whom fully support the move. I am uh, very confident that uh, these such moves will contribute to complete denuclearization of uh, DPRK. In his first address to the UN, the president warned the U.S. could destroy North Korea if forced to defend itself or its allies. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself. Today, he signaled dialogue is still possible. Thank you. Just last week, the UN Security Council unanimously approved new sanctions against North Korea aimed to cut the nation's oil imports. Well, according to the U.S. State Department, those sanctions that were imposed on North Korea by the U.N. Security Council last month are beginning to have an economic effect. The question is whether they will ultimately affect the behavior of the Kim regime. Elliot Rudabay, back to you. Well, Lengi in Washington, D.C., thank you very much.